Hi guys, today we're looking at Tony Rice's break on Carolina Star. This is from his album Plays and Sings Bluegrass, and this one should be pretty short and sweet. He only takes half of a verse here before the dobro picks it up there, so like I said, it, it shouldn't take very long. Let's slow it down to 70% and then jump right in. So first things first, I'm capoing on the second fret, playing out of the D position. So all of those notes that I throw out there are going to be relative to this capo, not relative to the nut. Now I assume this is where Tony's at on this because I found a live video, a uh, live performance of Carolina Star, in which uh, he's actually capoed on the third fret, still playing out of the D position, which would mean he was in F there. Okay, So we're in E on this recording. F in this live video, it just makes sense to me that he would want to be working out of the same shape. All right, that's at least that's how I work. Um, but who knows? Tony might be a little bit different. Um, might have been a little bit different. Uh, he could very well have been capoed on the fourth fret, playing out of the C position. But honestly, for the purposes of this solo, it doesn't really matter. Most of this break is in the upper register, up in third, fifth, and seventh position. Um, he still would be accessing those same notes regardless of where his capo was back here. Okay, so. He said, we're just going to talk relative to the capo as if we were working out of D, not C. Cool? All right. So this solo, like I said, short and sweet. He's just taking the first half of the verse before the dobro picks it up. And so he's just got a couple of really easy, concise phrases. So the intro sounds like this. Okay. So this starts on an upstroke on an F natural and a hammer on to an F sharp on the D string. Then he's going to catch an A on the G string. That's also an upstroke and then an A on the E string, that's also an upstroke. So three upstrokes in a row. Okay, and then he has a little enclosure. C sharp on the B string, a closed E on the B string, fifth fret, and then a slide from a uh, C sharp to a D. So that gets him into third position. Okay, that's the intro right there. All right, now this is gonna take us right into the next phrase, okay? And it's gonna lead us into the four chord at the end of it. So there's no breaks here, there's no pauses here. This is how that intro leads into the next phrase we're gonna talk about. Okay, all right, so let's talk from that slide. So after the slide, you're gonna play that D again, and then another F sharp, you're gonna play an F sharp after that. And I use my pinky here, I'm stretching, okay, to get up here, and this is what I think makes the most sense. And then you're gonna slide from D to E, so that takes you into fifth position. Okay, then you're ready to rock on the E string for an A, a pull off from B down to A, and then F sharp, E, D, E, Okay, now from here, I slide from A to B on the D string, and then walk it up, D, E, F sharp, G, and that lands me on that four chord. Four chord. Okay, it very well could have been a B flat to B natural. All right, the, the A to B makes the most sense to me. Okay, just because it moves so fast, okay? Okay. Now, we're landed on the four chord right here over that G shape, okay? And that takes us back to D. Okay, so those notes right there. So he catches a G, A, B, D, F sharp on an upstroke, G, B, A. And I, I think it might be a hammer on from F sharp to G. Okay, cool, so from the beginning. So there is that slight pause there, okay? Now we're ready to uh, go back down the neck, okay? So here's the next phrase that kind of ends his solo out over the five chord. Now this has a lot of syncopation in it, but it's really not too goosey, okay? So, so I'm gonna start on that A on the uh, B string. Oh, and I'm gonna use my pinky here. So that's A, G, F sharp, shift back to E, hit that F sharp with your third finger again, G with your pinky, F sharp, E on an upstroke, D on an upstroke, C sharp on an upstroke, D, E, C sharp, A. Okay, so you're kind of working out of that F shape there over the five chords. Okay, so...
time is just a little bit weird there. But you'll hear it, okay? Cool? So, that's pretty much the entire break right there. Okay, right there. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. All right, so break it into those small chunks. You have my transcription notes, play it really slow, and, and then practice jamming over it. Ooh. 